वेलकम एंड जय हिंद डिफेंस आस्पिरेंट्स आई होप कि आपने सभी वीडियोस चेक किए होंगे ऑफ एसएसबी मॉक इंटरव्यू इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सीरीज और आपको पता चला होगा कि आपको अपने रियल एसएसबीज में किस तरह से क्वेश्चंस को टैकल करना है सो हेयर इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दैट सेम सीरीज प्लीज चेक दिस वीडियो आउट एंड स्टे ट्यून विद द सेंचुरियन डिफेंस अकेडमी चैनल फॉर मोर सच वीडियोज एंड सीरीज have you made analysis of the last merit uh, and uh, as 51 girls they were uh, there in the merit order okay, don't you uh, think that so many girls even after recommendation they will not be able to join india don't you think that it is very challenging for girls yes, it is sir. injustice with the girls as compared yes, to boys it's not injustice with the girl but yes sir, it is challenging i uh, believe sir so how you you will uh, uh, be facing and how you will be uh, managing this challenge to join india so i'm working with my full of efforts and i think sir if i am working like such and what i short of efforts how many marks you have secured in written as per you sir uh, approximately 475 471 475 475. Yes. But this time India topper secured around 535 yes. plus marks. Yes, so uh, don't you uh, think that there is a risk of getting merit out if even you get recommendation? Sir, perform uh, good in SSB, sir. How many marks you are expecting in SSB? Ah, uh, sir, approximately 450 to 500. 450 to 500. Yes, sir. Even India topper could not secure. these marks don't you think it is topper secure plus 270 this is this is magical thinking you are having no sir uh, i believe have you checked rank of all india uh, marks this is the marks of all india rank 1 this time no sir but i have checked uh, air 3 sir he has achieved his uh, uh, 475 in ssb and okay. uh, whatever he efforts he is putting by this he achieved then why i cannot hmm. yes sir okay So when you got to know about your clear written examination, yes, sir. How you started uh, your planning to prepare for SSB interview? Okay, sir. Yes. So it was not from there when I gave the examination and introspect my uh, performance. I came to know that it was good and there's a very good chance of selection. So from where I started my preparation, I was a. Uh, 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 make myself to know more about the interview and what kind of things require. What should be I improve in that? So from where sir I started and I worked my sports. So when I came to know that sport is very obstacle as there's a, a obstacles I O and G O R all that thing. So sir I started to make myself physical active because before that sir I was not physically active. I was in my room and all the time reading and reading and reading. So I realized that and worked upon that. Hmm. and sir got some procedures and uh, take a feel of uh, srts how it's feel what kind of things that is so from where sir i prepared for that and i also when i uh, confirmed that i cleared the uh, written i joined the coaching sir as i told the uh, reason why i joined sir after completion of 12th uh, what is your higher education plan sir i am pursuing bsc from rajasthan university why you are pursuing bsc are you not confident about your nda no sir uh, It's not like that, sir. It is uh, like, uh, sir, NDA is a career, and sir, uh, it's uh, about higher education, sir. When both can go well simultaneously, then I, why aren't I don't do it? <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell me equivalent rank of uh, Air Commodore in uh, Indian Army? Yes, sir. Uh, brigadier, sir. The brigadier. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me name of uh, two exercise where Indian Army participated? Uh, so the first is Malabar that is happened between the Quad nations. It is uh, like uh, uh, so. It's a multilateral exercise between four countries. It's connected by Indian Army. No, sir, Navy? not. It's by Army, sir. Army or Navy? I think so, Navy, sir. Okay. Tell yes, me sir. name of other exercise, military uh, exercise. Yes, sir. So the first is uh, uh, that is happened with the uh, Bajra Prahar between US and uh, our Army. And so second one is uh, like so, uh, so dust lake that is also recently happened. And so pitch black it is also. Do you know how many squadrons are located in India? Ah, uh, so f- there are eighteen squadrons and five battalions that mm. I am able to recall it. Okay, uh, Komal, tell me your ten strengths. Okay, sir. So first thing that is I have one sincerity, sir. And so that uh, my sincerity is like that I also know the. Uh, next upcoming exams of uh, 16 April and 4, 3 September. So I think it's uh, also so my dedication and determination towards join NDA, sir. Mm-hmm. And so uh, the second is that I'm so curious. Mm. I'm curious, and so I'm uh, friendly, sir. I'm 
care, take caring, and I also help my parents and siblings, sir. Mm. And so I'm calm, sir. I make the environment calm, and so. Tell me five more. Uh, sir. Sir, I always uh, learn to move about things, sir. I always want to improve in myself. What is the regiment of your father? Sir, he was in uh, air defense. One zero seven AD. Air defense. Yes, AD. AD. Yes, sir. Air defense. So, have you asked, you inquired from your father about the lifestyle, about the nature of job as a as air defense uh, personnel in Indian Army? And do you have any specific choice to serve in Indian Army with some regiment? No, sir. There is no specific choice, but I have once visited when I was uh, my father was posted in Ambala Kent. So there I visited his unit. Their work was to uh, was related to air. Where Ambala is located? Sir, Ambala is at the border of Punjab and Haryana. It is at a border place. Mainly, it is considered in Haryana, but it is having part both in uh, Punjab. And mm -hmm. So where where I once visited his uh, the. Uh, workshop of their unit where I found artillery were there, radars were there, means uh, the air defense sector was under their control. Uh, hmm. Combat support. Do you have some specific choice for regiment or in general you want to join? Sir, no specific. I want to join uh, as an officer in Indian Army. There is no specific choice as for now. I am concerned. Okay, you are from Rajasthan and uh, you know Rajasthan is well known for the different climatic conditions. Yes, sir. Okay, so can you tell me what uh, different type of falling precipitations takes place in your uh, uh, locality, your region? So first of all, it is a Thar desert area means there is a lot of sunlight comes and very scare, very less amount of rainfall takes place. Means 5 mm to 10 mm of rainfall takes place. Hmm. And there is no specific time that uh, till then um, rain will take place. Like, uh, in Lucknow, it was rained uh, last uh, in on, I think, 23rd it rained. But before that, it rained in Jodhpur for two days. And there is no specific time for when it will rain in Jodhpur or anywhere in Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. As it is a low temperature area, and uh, uh, winds used to flow there. The low temperature area low means? Press, low pre yes, uh, wait for a while, sir. sir, high temperature area and low pressure zone. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, high temperature. Sorry, I want to say that. Yes. High, high temperature. High temperature. With so low, low, low atmospheric low pressure. Low atmospheric pressure. You do newspaper reading. Yes, sir. Tell me name of newspaper you read. Sir, Times of India. Times of India. Or the, time, the Times. The of Times of India. The Times of yes, India. Sir. Okay, who is chief uh, editor of this newspaper? Sorry, sir, I don't know. How many pages it contains? Sir, fourteen to sixteen pages. How did you prepare for your SSB interview and also tell me how did you prepare for your writing examination? So for the uh, for the SSB interview, I uh, gained knowledge about the whole process first of all, then uh, all the aspects that are needed in uh, SSB. For that, firstly, I started reading newspaper. Secondly, I, uh, I I was already means I was uh, doing physical, but according to means when I read, I uh, I thought that more of my physical fitness is needed. So I started running two kilometers as I, earlier I was running one kilometer. So uh, third is that I started writing down the stories uh, with time bound, and so I practiced bad uh, bad words from the book that was that I had brought. Uh, that's all. And for the written, sir, uh, for the written, I have been, uh, means that was the time, uh, it was lockdown, so I, uh, I uh, decided to, uh, uh, la, means uh, prepare for the written by my own. So I uh, uh, took help from the YouTube channels, different websites. I learned about uh, uh, GATs, uh, GAT questions, uh, about geography, history, uh, and other, and also uh, uh, practice more and more mathematics. Uh, as I was just passed out from class 12, so it was fresh. So I could uh, uh, more uh, perform good in mathematics. So I also tell me, uh, like uh, name, uh, can you refer uh, three examples of the brave ladies in your life from where you got inspiration and motivation in your life? So the first brave lady that was, uh, she is my mother, from whom I get the uh, inspiration. The, sec the second brave lady is my sister, and the third brave lady is my uh, maternal grandmother. Okay, no other any imminent personality? No, sir. Okay. 
so uh, what is your uh, goal setting in your life after joining Indian Army? Okay, so definitely you will be uh, upgrading your professional skills. So what are the uh, like uh, ultimate? What is the ultimate goal setting in your life so after joining the Army? You will be lieutenant. You will be passing out from the NDA successfully. Okay, yes. you will be completing your graduation. Okay, through yes. NDA. What else? So, uh, firstly, I want to gain a specialization in my dancing skills. So, secondly, I want to also enhance my cricket, uh, cricket means my involvement in cricket. I want to, uh, um, means I want to get more involved in sports activities. Why do you want to, uh, like, uh, be more involved in cricket? Why? So, because I like that. As a player too. or you want to just... Uh, no, play? as a player, sir. As a batsman. Okay. What is your long-term goal setting in your life? Like, uh, uh, what you have uh, decided to do in your life, especially in your career? So sir, my major long term goal is to be an army officer in the Indian Army from the Grenadier Regiment. Uh, why I have chosen this goal, uh, it basically reflects that I am an, uh, I like to be an adventurous person, being at a position which through which I will work for the society, work for the nation and also improve my own physical standards and mental toughness. What do you mean by adventurous life? What, do you, what is adventure for you? So, uh, adventure is a very different, has a different meaning for me uh, because uh, traveling to different terrains, uh, whether it be the Siachen Glacier or the mountains or the arid regions like Rajasthan, this is uh, an adventure for me. And also interacting with different people uh, and knowing how to tackle those situations, uh, sometimes you have to interact with, uh, know the condition of the people living near the borders. So, this is an, again an adventure for me and also the sports activity that hill climbing uh, really uh, takes me. And motivates me. Okay, just tell me, uh, uh, like NDA first time uh, offered you to yes, appear in written examination and you yes, appeared in written examination. But uh, there is a concern that Supreme Court, Honorable Supreme Court, also added uh, statement that only 19 vacancies for right, girls. Sir. Don't you think that it is an injustice with the girls? And uh, what is your opinion in this regard? Sir, I feel uh, if they have taken the decision uh, right now for the first time, it's a very good initiative. At least they provided the girls with the, uh, the one who have the capabilities can easily participate and showcase their talent there and also work for the nation. In my opinion, yes, these sh uh, seats should be increased uh, because I feel uh, there are more women who are interested and there should be a fair uh, means for both uh, boys and women at the same level. Since they are passing the same examination, they should also be provided this equal uh, number of seats. I mean to say, everyone should be treated on their merit basis rather than uh, on gender equalities.